Cancer, hi. So uh, this is gonna be a reading for April 13th through the 19th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. So let's see. So the overall energy for the reading, the star card, you may be dealing with an Aquarius here. However, this is wish fulfillment. It's looking like somebody's after their wish. Uh, and it's probably going to start manifesting. Let's see. In your recent past, you get the two of pentacles, the king of wands and the six of pentacles. There was this king. So once upon a time, <laughs> so there was uh, a person here that you may have dealt with that didn't exactly know uh, what they want. They were going back and forth. They wanted this, but not really, but they did, but not really. Things needed to be straightened out here. Things needed a lot more balance here because uh, somebody didn't really know what they wanted. Of course, this could be you, but um in your current situation the king of swords the queen of cups and the five of cups so there's a scenario here that plays into my mind uh where somebody is um offering a lot of love to the situation right and i feel like that's you and because the other person is more logical more they have a different energy than yours they show love differently they you know they don't express it as you do they're not as open they're not as roles can be reversed also but somebody's being very practical about the situation not to say that this person doesn't have emotions they're just functioning under a different kind of energy and that bums out the person that um is more expressive, let's say, right? So that uh, kind of saddens this other person because they want the same kind of, you know, uh, if I'm telling you that I love you, I need to feel that too, um, which is actually a, diff a, a pretty difficult kind of a, approach because it does bring sadness, you know, you're not gonna get that possibly. The more you want it, and it's not even that, it's more like accepting that the other person is not functioning like you do, pretty much. You know, there's that acceptance of it. Um, and that's you, could be them. In the immediate future, you get the lovers, the justice card, and the two of wands. Uh, things are going to get good in this connection. Things are going to get balanced here. So, let's uh, clarify. Let me clarify the star. The uh, five of swords, the king of pentacles and the queen of wands again. Two people functioning from two different energies, which is normal. It's, I mean, it's normal, but somebody doesn't accept it as being so. Somebody wants the other person to feel the exact same way as they do. And again, not to say that the other person doesn't feel that, but they don't express it the same way. That's where the problem is. And somebody's sabotaging this connection because of that, because of, that's control. That's wanting for things to be like you want them, you know, instead of accepting that the other person is just different. That's it. Because um, the both of you want this. That's a big blockage here. The moment you want that and you expect that out of a person, 
you actually want to change them. You're kind of telling them something's wrong with you. You know, so think about that for a little bit. Because you're not doing things the way I want to, you know? Um, let me do the Two of Pentacles in the recent past. The Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there was a choice that needed to be made here. And somebody felt so much pressure and so much feeling like, oh my god, I can't choose, I can't choose, that they ended up leaving the whole situation because they couldn't figure it out. Um, they were like, fuck this, I'm not choosing anything, bye-bye, you know? Not choosing is a choice in itself, so that's what this person did there, whoever they were. Let me clarify the Six of Pentacles, though, in the recent past. The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So whoever did this, whoever left, the other person was um, waiting for them for a long time to figure out that they made a mistake, that they need to come back, that they need to show love, they need to want this again, and things like that. Somebody was uh, very controlling here. And that's what actually screwed things up here. Because the other person felt the pressure. That's why they couldn't choose. Uh, they had their own issues as well. But feeling that pressure of, you need to choose me. You need, you need to choose this love. Push them further away. So I don't know who did that. We all do that. We're all guilty of that at some point. So um, could have been you, could have been them. Whoever did that made things worse for the situation. Uh, let's see. Let me clarify the King of Swords in your current situation. The Four of Wands, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups. Somebody's manifesting a... Um, a long-term connection here with you uh they're leaving something to make this happen they have to drop something that's not good for them anyways but they're manifesting this with you i'm getting let me clarify the queen of cups in your current situation The Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Yeah, you're feeling it. You're feeling that things are starting to balance out in this situation. You're, you're, you, I feel like you actually put a lot of care and nurture into yourself. And you're feeling very balanced, very good where you're at. But you're feeling that this connection is probably coming to a point where things are starting to get really balanced here. There was a need of control uh, in the past, possibly on your part. Possibly on your part. It's gone. I don't feel it anymore here. Uh, let's clarify the Five of Cups in your current situation. Somebody's leaving a situation. Somebody's leaving... Uh, There's this emperor here, which is, you know, father figure, whatever, provider, whatever the case. Somebody's leaving uh, this situation. It creates a lot of sadness, but somebody's leaving and they're leaving fast. Um, I feel like this is this person that needs to walk away from something. Let me clarify the lovers in your immediate future. The King of Cups, the Tower, and the Nine of Cups. I think it's the first time where I'm seeing the Tower as something majorly positive. <laughs> uh, it's usually positive, even though it looks like, oh my god, the end of the world, because it brings in change all the time. So that's good. That's always good. 
but this time around it's like going from I love this person, I want this connection, this is something really, really great that I really have a lot of emotion for. Somebody's realizing that it also brings in a lot of um, emotional fulfillment, not in the sense that, yes, I got what I wanted. Within themselves, they feel really, really balanced here um, because of this connection, you know? And it's one of those things where even if this connection weren't here for them, they would still feel okay. You know, releasing this connection, the outcome and whatever happens, they would feel okay in the sense that they're really happy for the experience and that it helped them grow a lot. Um, to be able to reach this fulfillment within themselves, you know? with or without this connection but i do see this connection coming regardless you know um with a lot of love let me clarify the justice yeah somebody's uh taking control and i feel like it's that person that you're dealing with they want this they want to start working on things with you and that brings in a lot of balance between the two of you let me clarify the two of wands Yep, no more heartbreak here. No more heartbreak, no more pain in the situation. It's going to take a while. There's there's kind of like that. If we do this together, um, it's, it's going to be helpful for the pain uh, that you're feeling, especially because I feel like this is in regards to you. Um, you could do this by yourself. You're getting to, into that realization that you can do this by yourself. You can move on with your life. You can have a happy life by yourself. But together, it's helping you out more. It's it's um, boosting you into that, oh my God, I got this. You know, whereas if you were by yourself doing this, you would still get there, but a little slower, a little more like, okay, okay. A lot more acceptance. Uh, on your part needed to get you there but with the two of you combining forces here it's helping you go through any kind of pain any kind of whatever comes your way you know faster um this is looking like the two of you are balancing out like crazy here and that's when a connection is at a healthy point to to move on you know um let's see what the universe has Every time you're starting something, there's something happening, something, some sort of a challenge coming in your way and making you think like, no, it's not the right thing to do. It's not the right path to go down, uh, changing your perspective, changing things for you. Um, go deep within. The, I feel like this is more in regards to work than this connection. It could be this connection, but go deep and see, you'll know. You'll know if the universe is throwing you off your path here, um, especially in work and things like that. If things happen over and over and over and over again, you know, where it's bad, it's bad, it's this, it's that and the other. Usually that's a sign that you may want to start to look for something, to look for something else. But you'll know eventually if that's the case, because I feel like you're going through a little bit of questioning that like, why do things happen that take me off this path? Sometimes there is a reason behind that. So um, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.